about 10 degrees Celsius and it's raining and it's foggy and it's windy and it's been like this all day. The bees are not having any part of it. They're smart enough to stay indoors. They're not even trying to come out. I just thought it'd be fun to just take a quick look to see where they're clustering. Sometimes when they get warm, they, they rise up, they break cluster. And when I say cluster, I just mean it's a cluster of bees that are surrounding the queen. Uh, they're usually surrounding the queen to, because she's laying eggs, or they're just surrounding each other and the queen to stay warm. And in this case, it's obviously just to stay warm because it's cold. It's that time of year. Anyway, let's just take a look. See if they're clustering up or down. Oh, this one has a pillow in it. Sort of, I wouldn't say they're clustering high, but they're not clustering low. But again, this hive is—it's uh, only a two medium hive, so they really don't have, they don't have far to go in terms of up and down. So clustering up doesn't necessarily mean anything. There's my Jenga box. Say goodbye. There's a tech. Stick that on the side of my shed. And let's see. Okay. See, this is another two medium hive, so they're. You can see they're clustering. They're a little bit up there, but I can see too they're they're not that's not really the they're not crowding that top bar, so they're they're okay. Now this one, I suspect this is a three medium hive, so they should be they should have plenty of room to just keep the cluster down below. And let's take a look. Yeah, right, see nothing here. No bees. That's nice. Nice and dry too. This is a great, great this one is just Whatever they're doing, they're doing it right. This one's got three deeps or three mediums, but it's. Um, I think that bottom medium is just completely empty. I'm not 100% on this colony. I think it's essentially a two medium hive. And they also don't have a lot of honey, so I know I'm going to be feeding them later in the winter. So let's just lift up this. Yeah, you can see that they're clustering up top. So I'm just going to. I'm not going to mess with them. Yeah, I gotta get some kind of food ready for them and drop some, uh, I'll put a rim underneath the inner cover here to make room for some candy cakes or whatever it is, you know, all kinds of jazz. I got some more Jenga, look at a bunch of Jenga blocks around, I can probably put those away for the year. I'm getting wet. This is a key tag that I used to use for numbering my hives, but uh, I gave up on that. I'm using blank key tags, tags so I can just number them myself and put a little extra info on the back of the of the, uh, of the tag. Yeah, this is the cool hive. Um, they filled in, it's only two mediums, but they filled in that the inner cover hole with the comb. And they, they, you can see right here, dead smack in the middle, in the center of the shot, they've, they've left one little hole open for, for bees to come and go. I suppose if I eventually see bees, uh, coming out of that little hole. Uh, it's, it's feeding time. And this one is uh, three mediums. It's in pretty good shape. They've got, uh, you can see here, there's a few drones stuck in the quarter inch mesh that I've got. You even, might even be able to pull them out. Yeah, there's one. Anyway, but it's not clogging. It's just a few drones. It's not clogging or anything like that. And later on in the winter, if it gets clogged up, I don't think it's really going to matter, to be honest, because they'll be at some point they'll be they'll be using the top entrance and they won't even touch the bottom entrance. So who cares? Uh, but I'll just tear that off, put a stick in there, clean it out, and then put it back on. So again, another three medium hive. This one, all like all my hives, they've got uh, a ventilation rim up top over the inner cover. Oh yeah, look, and no bees. See how nice this is? This is really nice. Yeah, I, I can. You can't. I can tell. You can't tell by the camera. Uh, but that those those hives are dry, and I can see that the frames aren't damp or wet or anything. So whatever's going on there, they're doing it. It's it's good. So I haven't put any of that uh, silver bubble wrap around these hives yet. I don't think I need it. But some of them, I think they might. I think uh, perhaps the small ones might benefit from it. 
because if they get too cold they can't generate as enough heat as the larger ones so maybe they'll they could use that little extra warmth but i'll have to keep a eye on them in case they start eating through their honey quickly so anyway that's my beekeeping for today i think they're all clustered down low looking good what beekeeping i have left is i need to make some sugar cakes in case these guys get hungry and they probably will like i'm pretty sure that one's gonna get hungry and i'll probably wrap them but other than that i think i'll just leave them alone that one i might just leave alone this one i think i'm gonna just leave it alone i'm not gonna wrap it i'm gonna leave it exactly like it is um, and that's about it you know and this one i keep forgetting to put on the mesh on the bottom so i don't know if any critters have gotten to this or what this is my my one d hive base that i have i know people love them but i'm not i'm not, I'm not really sold on this I, for me i think ventilation on the bottom is is can be helpful too so i don't i don't really like that but anyway it's it's good it's not it's not i'm not condemning it i'm just saying i think i'm just going to get rid of that because for consistency it's easier for me to just deal with all the same type of equipment and i've got this one and i gotta turn it the other way and the whole jazz with the de hive and probably just i'll probably just get out of it though i've thought about keeping it around just for demonstration purposes but i don't know i'm also experimenting with this uh, i guess it's furnace tape and you can see here it's peeling off it's, I, I was using this instead of duct tape to seal in the holes uh, the cracks between the supers and for the most part it's holding on well it is peeling a bit up top on some of them but not all of them that tape i don't know if it's it's good this that, that other stuff it's called tuck tape you know that red stuff but that stuff is uh i think it's more expensive than it, it it's not as easy to apply but that probably work would work better than this stuff but anyway it's all good i'm out of here because i'm getting wet